In today's astronomy video lesson, we are going to get acquainted with the star types and the stages of the stellar life, because these two things are connected. So, every star begins from a protostar. The protostar is a material to create a star. Next, there are two possible ways. One is if the star is with lower mass and another if the star with a higher mass. Now we have uh, a measure for the mass that uh, the star have to, to jump over to get in the higher mass uh, um, way, but this is uh, for uh, not for beginners, for advanced lessons. So let's begin with the lower mass stages. Now, after the protostar, we have the yellow star. Yellow stars are stars like our sun. They are pretty young stars. And its uh, visible range is yellow. Uh, with a period of uh, one or two billion years, the star will get will become a red giant that is when it begins to burn its fuel fuel it will grow bigger and become a redder uh, so interesting thing is that uh, when our star or the sun uh, reach this uh, red giant stage it will probably engulf the earth and destroy it so until then we have to move to another planet and also playing uh, space strategy games we found some stars in different colors and uh, we have noticed that most of the yellow stars hold this uh, lovely uh, stars these uh, planets with the sweet spot so getting bigger there are less good uh, habitable planets to conquer <laughs> that is but uh, let's begin with the real knowledge uh, this uh, is the next stage in the lower mass stars is the orange star uh, it is optional stage so in the next one the stars go become a planetary nebula so these um, low low mass stars are losing their um, energy and uh, in the next stage they become a small white dwarfs so what is interesting to know is that this this white dwarfs can can um, live uh, for more than 10 billion years traveling into the into the void but uh, playing computer games again space strategy games there are not uh, very habit habitable planet in this blue or white dwarf not blue white dwarf stars because uh, also most of the planets there have met uh, some cataclysm or other event because this is a lot of time to exist in the universe now we are going to the high mass stars after the protostar the star becomes a blue giant very cool and well blue giants may hold good uh, habitable planets because they they are in their earliest stages from the high mass stellar life but next they are going to red super super giants and uh, this is uh, when the, the mass of the star becomes critical and it is just about to explode but first uh, let's compare the red giants and red super giants red super giants can be around 15 and more times the red the red giant so this is enormous amount in the cosmic 
aspect range. So, after the super giant explodes, it goes into a supernova. Now, the supernova period may be short according to the stellar life, but not short about humans, so they can actually observe supernovas happening in our galaxy. After the supernova, the stars may go into two ways. It may become a neutron star that is uh, uh, spinning and uh, leaking energy or a black hole that is a star with enormous mass that can suck everything in the universe. With that I get my knowledge level and I knew something new. I learned something new that is about the black holes for example that they have been once a beautiful stars.